I have seen it all, ladies and gentlemen. I have seen everything that gaming could possibly throw at me. With Acorn Assault Rodent Revolution. If you ever were wondering, is there a game, sort of like a turn-based puzzle game, where I can play as squirrels, but not just any squirrels, but squirrels during the French Revolution. Those kind of squirrels. Squirrels with the names such as Charles de Montesquirrel or Marie Antoinette. That's the game I want to play. Well, let me tell you, sir, look no further, because here we have Acorn Assault Rodent Revolution to fill that void for you. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Acorn Assault Rodent Revolution is indeed a puzzle turn-based strategy game. Really, it's more of a puzzle matching game than it is a strategy game involving squirrels that are actually a part of the French Revolution. And without further ado, I will actually show you what the fuck I'm talking about. And you can make a decision from there. That's right. Here we go. It was an age of decadence. It was an era of decline. King Louis the Umpteenth and his queen Marie Antoinette reigned over the penniless people of their kingdom with a reckless disregard. King Louis believed in his heart that his kingdom, its people, and their riches were all his by divine right. That it was their duty to relinquish every last acorn if he so demanded, no matter how many he'd squander. This was the way of the land until one squirrel had all he could stand. Charles de Montesquirrel defied the king's tax collector. On that fateful day, history witnessed the final injustice. They would turn rabble into rebel. Lay tax. Get it? Yay, because they're French. And it's Charles de Montesquirrel. Phenomenal. All right. So here's the game. I've had enough of you taking my hard-earned acorns. No way, you getting your grubby hands on my acorns. So now that you've got the basic story of the game and how all that good stuff works, it's important to note that there are, it seems, five chapters in the story. And of those five chapters, there's five levels each. That's right, each one with an unlockable character who, as you play, you can unlock for multiplayer, I assume. In this case, so far, I've unlocked the taxman, and I've unlocked the guard, the gate guard, and now I'm attempting to get Marie Antoinette. What cracks me absolutely up about Mrs. Uh, Antoinette here is that her boobs are actually acorns. That is fucking hilarious. Like, seriously. If there's one thing this game has going for it, it is the sense of humor. Like, seriously. It's ridiculously hilarious. Anyway. So the game. You're probably wondering how it works. Well, surprisingly simple actually. What you do is you have barrels, which are defenses essentially, and then you have squirrels, which provide attacks. In this case, we're gonna kill this guy, and we're gonna put that right there, we're gonna put this here, and we're gonna put this here. The game operates in a similar fashion to like Plants vs. Zombies. Your side can only shoot, but it's all tiered. So in this case, we're gonna shoot. Alright, so it was our turn first, and we shot first. Now it's gonna be Marie Antoinette's turn. She's going to draw her cards, which is three barrels and two squirrels. By the way, I have no idea why this game is lagging. Like, it's probably just because of my recording software being ridiculous or something like that. But anyway, and then he's gonna place him down and try to shoot the gate behind me. As you can see, as they shoot down the lane, they do damage to your health up here at the top. Now, if you have things to block the shots, obviously, you will take less damage. Every unit deals a certain amount of damage, but has a certain amount of health. In this case, because these fellows have been powered up, they're dealing 20 damage, but they've only got 5 health. This guy's got 15 damage and 40, or no, 40 damage and 15 health. 
Now, what you can do in this game that really kind of makes it unique is you can actually combine squirrels together. So, for example, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little a little squirrel bean. Yeah, that's right. Click. There we go. Now what you do is you make matches of three, and pretty much what it does is it combines their health and their damage, and that's how much they will do from that point onward. So yeah, so now our squirrel is ready to attack. Unfortunately, we don't have enough attack to actually kill anything over here, but we'll get to that. So, at the end of your turn, after you place everything, you've got attack, defense, and health. Attack will obviously increase the attack of your squirrels. Defense will increase the defense of your defenses and health will increase your overall health. Now to make each one of these go up a tier, you need 200 acorns. You get acorns by picking them up or by combining squirrels. Every time you combine a set of three, you get 150 acorns. So with that, we're gonna attack and we're gonna watch what happens. So this guy, these two fellows here are gonna do damage. He's gonna shoot and blow up the barricade, but his attack was not high enough to go through the barricade and kill anyone behind it. So it looks like he's going to be vulnerable for this turn. And see, there's an acorn pickup, for example. So yeah, see, he's going to place it down, and he gets 200, or she, excuse me, Miss Antronaut gets 200 acorns. And then she combined again. So what this dude's going to do, he's literally going to shoot right through our barrels and kill our guy. Yep, and then still hit our base. No bueno, no bueno at all. But that's okay. We're going to draw. Looks like we got three squirrels again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to put some barricades down. Now one thing you can do, if you do a combination like this, you can actually combine four and five squirrels together in large lines. You can even, like, get six if you were that lucky. Well, seven, really. If you could get three here, three here, four here, four here. As long as it all connects back together, it can be done. Now, keep in mind, it's really hard to do that, but, you know, it can be done. Boom, check that out. We got extra defenses. But we're not going to increase our attack defense. We're going to save our acorns. We're going to fire back. This is the whole game. <laughs> if you were wondering if there was more to this game, not really. I mean, it's weirdly addicting, and it's actually kind of fun. Like, I know it doesn't really look like it, and I know you probably think I'm off my fucking rocker right now. But surprisingly enough, it's not half bad. I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's not trying to be anything different. It can be a bit tedious, but at the same time, uh, it, it's actually pretty fun. Like... The first two people actually are way harder than, like, Marie Antoinette here. Like, I don't know why it's so damn hard, but the, the I mean, the, the gates, especially the tax man, because the tax man just feels like he's freaking cheating, man. I mean, that dude literally takes stuff out of your, uh, he, he takes your acorns, all your excess acorns over time. Watch this, we're gonna, we're gonna shoot right past these guys and try to kill that with this dude here. He's going to deal 50 damage. Walk. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Triple kill. And look, we've already got her down to 185 health. That's right. That's right. You don't stand a chant, Mrs. Nut. Man to a nut. Sorry. I just, I can't say that name. But you've actually got higher tiers of troops, too. Like, for example, if you get three of these guys, you get a bombardier. I don't really know what's above a bombardier. And if you combine three barricades together, you get that. Which is like a wooden wall. Yeah, when it's it's got 90 health. It's got a lot of health, man. It could take a freaking beating. So, like, like right now, if I actually wanted to kill that, I literally have no idea how I would do it. I would have to figure that out. But what we can do... Yes, yes, yes. What we're gonna do... We're gonna put that there. We're gonna put that there. Boom, look at that. Oh, yeah. We're gonna give it to that squirrel bastard. Dirty bastard, he talked about my mother. Give him a shot in the face. I was kind of hoping we would get through this a lot faster, but it is not going fast at all. Boom, brought her back down to 170 health. Is that all you got, Mrs. Antoinette? Maybe you should stick to eating your cake. Yeah, and like I said, each character has a special ability. As you can see, Marie Antoinette here can place down cakes which block areas. And as you progress further, she gets more cakes to block down, and she gets progressively harder. Again, the tax man, 
that I was talking about earlier just takes acorns straight out of your leftovers. It's only a certain amount of acorns. Like, he'll take 50, but he'll get 100. So it doubles. It basically means he's getting power-ups like crazy. And if you ask me, it's total effing bullshit. But, you know, what am I? Who am I? You know, I'm just, just, some, just some nobody YouTuber, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to place this uh, fellow right here. Actually, we're going to shoot this dude right in the face. Give him some of the business. Boom. Triple. Attack. Do damage. Kill them. Kill them all. I hope this is actually a killing blow. Will it be? I don't think it will be. I wouldn't. I'm not going to be that lucky. Boom. Oh, so close. So close. Oh, my God. 15 health. All right. Yeah. So it's not over yet. All right. But this is probably going to be the last turn right here. Unless she is going to, like, just go ham and kill everybody. Yeah, which I doubt is going to happen. Yeah, you place your barrels, you dirty bitch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> She's gonna double attack. She's gonna shoot through and kill, like, both those guys right there. Watch this shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, there it goes. Oh, no, she didn't give him... Oh, because she healed, that's why. Mm. Stupid, stupid move. See, this is why you should stick to eating your cake, your, f your, your, French, your French Marie Antoinette. That's right. We're gonna, like, pound it right there. Combine all that shit together. Look at that. Boom. So we got four, like, rifle rifle guys, and we're just gonna go ahead and shoot. And that's the end right there. That's game. That shot, this shot, and then these two shots. That's game. Boom. So we win. So that's basically, in a nutshell, that is Acorn Assault Rodent Revolution. It is that simple. You complete the levels. You move on to the next one. You get a cutscene. You get a roughly different level. Yes. Is that ridiculous wig screwing with your head? We want a revolution, not a bag of macarons. How dare you mock my wonderful natural hair? Hardly anything about you is natural. He's talking about your boobs. Well, I never. Since you hate my cake so much, let's see how you did with another. So three cakes. But yeah. Anyway, this is this is this is a game. This is something you might want to play. I feel like for the price tag, it's a bit pricey. It's fifteen dollars. I don't know if I would pay $15 for this game. I'm going to be honest right now. I would pay 5 Maybe. Maybe 10 Maybe if it was $10 and it was on sale for 5 If you had it for $10 and you said 50% off sale, then I might buy this. But, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. It's Mechanically, it's it works. I mean, it's not a horrible game. It plays just fine. It's just weird. Like, I mean, this concept is weird. It's funny, but it's weird. And, like, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of depth here, which is a shame, because, you know, it's, they could have done a lot with this. This concept, the, the core concept is great. Like, having two sides and so on. But they didn't have, they don't have enough, like, unit types that you can actually see in every match. Now, there's plenty of actual unit types, but you have to combine them. So that means half the time you'll never even see the Bombardier. Which is a shame, because it's like, I want to use the Bombardier, because he's so powerful. And, you know, if, like, you could create your decks, or set your decks up, or even, like, re-roll decks and add more cards to it, you could almost turn this into, like, a card kind of board game thing. Which would be really, really fun. Because, like I said, the game has the core concept there. I mean, this is, this is actually fun. And it does, again, it does not look like it. But it actually is pretty, uh, pretty fun to play. I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah. But, I mean, that's all I really have to say about it. There's, there's just not a whole bunch here to justify $15. I mean, you can spend $15 elsewhere and have more fun. So, I mean, I don't know. It, it is, if, if this is something you're interested in, then, yeah, I'd definitely go for it. It's not a bad game. It's mechanically sound. But if you're not really into this type of thing, which generally I wouldn't be myself then save your money on it, but aside from that, it's not that bad. It's, it's not that bad. Anyway, this has been Commissar Bro, and I could probably talk for a couple more hours, but, you know, I'm not going to. Anyway, this has been CB, and I'll see you next time.